Good afternoon, you lovely lot. Good morning, depending on whatever the time is, wherever you are tuning in from across the globe. It's lovely to have your company on what is a Friday afternoon here in the UK. An absolute glorious afternoon in many parts of the UK, but certainly here in the North East. The sun is shining. Me and Dean were sitting out, having our lunch, talking about the wrestling. It was a fab wee hour, great wee hour. But we are back now for another two hours. This is all about Masterclass. Then when it comes to the Masterclass, class we're going to be having a look at our cute characters now before I tell you anything else let's welcome her in because well a little bit of annoying morning this morning Jan for you Massive things going on on the motorways, and yes, poor Craig ended up. Uh, oh, apparently, uh, your mic was down, but oh, you're back now. Well, that, it was just the mouth going. That's like my <laughs> husband. He's, he likes just the mouth going and no sound. Can you hear me now? There, I can hear you. Yeah, so yeah, I was stuck on the motorway for a very long time. So poor Craig uh, had to go solo this morning, didn't you? So my eternal thanks. The team here, my pleasure. honestly, they all, you wouldn't have known. You wouldn't have known, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I'm back and I'm raring to go. I'm just sort of a bit dust gombobulated now because I keep thinking <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. Yeah. The only advantage of that, Craig, is that I'm going to be done sooner than I think. That's very true. Isn't it? Because this feels like my first show. Yeah. But then the next show will be the last show, if that makes sense. Yes, yeah, yeah. So I'm actually going to be finished sooner than I think. There you go, then. Yeah. Fund so it, come in, lots to fit stamp, in. colour, cut, cut yeah. and then go home again. Bit of spectrum noir later, and then go, let's just hope I don't get stuck on the way home like I did on Tuesday. No, I'm sure you won't. All will be good. Oh, All will be think good. Think positive. Send me lots of think positive thoughts. Positive. Yes. Absolutely. So I'll tell you what, before I go any more, this is the masterclass. We're looking at the cute character stamps, aren't we, Jan? And you've got some ideas and inspiration? I have. I've got some samples to show you just at the top of the show. And this is a lovely little concept. And then I've got lots of different ideas that you can do with the concept. So it was designed with a bookmark or a gift tag in mind. So you can see here how we've got the little character attached. If you've not seen these before, they are so cute. And then if I turn it round, you not only get the front, you get the back as well. So the idea is that you stamp them out and then the rest of it you can do as you wish. So bookmarks, or we've got this little guy on a gift tag as well. So you can see how you can make them different lengths. So this one's much shorter. Still got the little character on there. And that was the idea behind them. But I've got lots of different things to do with them this morning. So again, using them in your card making. Okay, this one's a really nice idea. And it's just got the little tag in a pocket on the front of the card. You could actually maybe attach a little gift card to the back of that or some money to the back of it if you wished. Again, making the bookmarks and adding them into a card. Cute. So you can see here how the little bookmark comes out. And you've got that lovely little back and front image. <laughs> the images are gorgeous they to just are. have a play. If you like stamping and colouring, they are a lovely set of images without doing anything else with them. Again, little gift tag could actually go on the card. It doesn't have to be on a, a gift. And then just a couple of other ideas mm -hmm. with them. You know, with your box making, you can actually cut them out. The die actually partially cuts them, but just to add your scissors and do a bit of fussy cutting, then you can actually make them into little toppers. And then we've done a lovely little gift box with the, um, the little bookmark inside. So again, if you're doing craft fairs and things like that, these would be great just to make a little set of all the different characters. And then lastly, I love this one. So again, if you've got pets, there is a little yeah. cat one and there's also a dog one as well, which we're going to use during the show. Just made it onto a little bag topper to pop some treats in there as well. So that's just a few of the ideas. And I'm going to go and try and go through as many as I can during the next couple of hours with ideas of things that you can do with them. So that was my task today and I've got all sorts planned for you. Awesome. Cannot wait. As usual, when uh, I'm on with Jan, as I'll do all the bits that I need to do, then when we throw back to Jan, uh, I just let Jan go with the demonstration, because I know that's what everyone loves to see. Uh, but if you do have any questions for Jan or anything specific that she's featuring or working on at that moment in time, I will absolutely ask her. But we do have Olivia Ness. She is on... Uh, Olivia, I don't know why I said your surname there, but I did. Not that it matters, but it just rolled off the tongue. Olivia is on for the socials for this masterclass. So Karen, well 
Michelle Sorelli saying hello again from Kentucky. Lynn Blackledge, which is hashtag go live granny, saying good afternoon. Lois is in saying hello everyone from Ohio. Uh, hashtag go live granny saying welcome Jan. Lois is saying yay for Jan. Lizara is saying hi, crafty friends, Craig, Jan, Olivia and Team Social and the crafters. So today we have got, within Masterclass, we have got Dean who's producing this show with Johnny in the gallery as well. And then uh, we've got wee Jamie who's also, he is back directing this show as well after he'd done a fab job within Wake Up Call. We've also got Stephanie Theodos is saying good morning, Craig, Jan, Olivia, CCTV team and crafty friends from Farmingdale, New Jersey. Caroline is saying, good to see you, Jan. Craig, you managed to pair Blake this morning, um, but Jan, you were missed. She absolutely was. But she's here, she's back for the rest of the day. Thea, uh, Thea's in saying, hoi hoi again, everyone. Sarah is in saying, good morning, Jan, Craig, Olivia on socials, crafty friends, and hello from Arkansas. We've then also got uh, Melanie D saying hello again. Peg Conrad is saying, hi, Jan, Craig, and crafty friends. And Shan, uh, our Shan is saying, so cute. They really, really are. So I'm going to do a little bit of the housework before we jump straight to Jan when it comes to the demonstrations. Everything that you're going to see between myself and Jan and so much more, including your Colour Me Happy later on, is across on our website, which is crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. Go into shop the day and that's where you're going to find everything from Masterclass and Colour Me Happy. What well, you're also going to find as well, because here in the UK and the US of A and other parts of uh, the world, we are going to be celebrating Father's Day on Sunday. So what we have got on the website, you're going to see the icon that you can click onto. And we've got double points on selective items there in celebration of Father's Day on Sunday. So you're just going to click onto that icon on the website. It's right there on the home screen. What you're then going to be able to do is see all the items that you're going to get your double points on. What's also there as well is a pick and mix option. Now you're going to see that icon on the website too. So you're just going to click on that. It says pick and mix. And you can see that you've got the choice of Crafty Essentials, Spectrum Noir, or Sarah's signature. So go into each individual one. You can't mix and match, but for instance, the Craft Essentials, click on that. All the items when it comes to your Craft Essentials, you can then pick up to five of them for £20. Have a look in the Spectrum Noir one. So click on the Spectrum Noir. You can then, of course, uh, get uh, selective items three for £20 or euros or dollars. And then when it comes to your Sarah's signature, are you ready for this one? When you click onto that one, you're going to be able to get 10 for 40 when it comes to that one. So you've got your three different options there. So as I say, you can't mix and match from Craft Essentials, Spectrum Noir and Sarah's signature, but you've got a lot of items within each category that you could take advantage of. So once again, Craft Essentials, five for 20. You've got your Spectrum Noir, three for 20, or your Sarah's signature, 10 for 40. That's all there across on the website. Not only that, not only have you got Shop the Day, what we've also got is our brand new Pick of the Day of today, which just launched as we went live for Wake Up Call. Now, Pick of the Day is something that we do Monday to Friday. Now, with this one being Friday today, that means tomorrow there's not a Pick of the Day, there's a Weekend Wonder. So essentially, it is a weekend version of a Pick of the Day, in my eyes. Now, what that means is you've got a selected item, for the 24 hour period. So that will end just before tomorrow's Weekend Wonder starts, which 11 a.m. UK time. You've also got the ability, or you've got your double points on whatever the uh, pick of the day item is. And it is, as I say, always something special. I say it will end in 24 hours time. It is stock dependent as well. So if it sells out before, which has happened, even yesterday's had sold out, take and keep that in mind. Now today is what you're actually going to be getting is you've got a really, really good set here combined together. A pick of the day collection where you're going to be saving over 35%. You're going to be getting your Totally Tiffany. This is your rotating design board. The initial concept was for you to do your colouring onto, and it actually rotate, rotates 360 all the way around. So if you're moving your stamped impression or you're doing your colouring, instead of actually having to move your work, you just move the actual rota uh, rotating board. So within that one there, it doesn't just have to be your colouring. What you could do if you want to, I know Totally Tiffany, and Tiffany herself, she has one in the garage, and 
and she puts kind of like ornaments or anything she wants to upcycle and then as she goes to spray it with the spray paint she turns the board cake decorator you can have your cakes on there and then turn the board while you're icing it maybe you do your model making lots and lots of ways in which you can use it don't put anything too heavy on it but something that is you know lightish or relatively lightish absolutely you can use but it is the newer version where it's that strong heavyweight plastic channels in the back it's more environmentally friendly as well but you've got that one with the bulldog clip too not only are you getting that you're getting the nancy tote bag as well so it's going to fit the board now the board is actually a little bit taller for you to then pop the zip right across but it's still going to fit it snugly i'll show you later on you can even put that full pack of cardstock white multi-purpose cardstock that you get as well so that is all within that bundle too so you're going to get the whole lot for 30 pound or 40 dollars platinum price is 24 pound or 32 dollars as i did say before you are going to get your double points as well now if you go for your the, the board on its own would be 19.99 or 24 dollars 95 so you can see the value already when it comes to the platinum price if you went for the tote bag it's 14.99 or $16.99 and if you went for the cardstock on its own $12.99 or $14.99 so there is the value when it comes to the pick of the day it is there on the website today's price is a great price but the platinum price is even better as well £24 or $32 with your double points as well so that's one and then we're going to have a look at the masterclass. Before we do it, I just want to say as well, um, it is an absolutely roasting hot studio in here. If you can hear either of our fans, if it's distracting, let us know. Uh, I don't think it is, but I think a few of you have maybe heard kind of like a little fan noise just in the background. That's what it is. I know Jan's got one and I've got one. If it is distracting, please let us know. Um, I, think, I don't think it is, though. I think you're just kind of saying... Is that, is that a fan in the background? Is that, that a fan? Why? Just because it's very, very warm. So just wanted to let you know that, um, yeah, we've got the fans going in here. Uh, right, let's have a look at our masterclass item. And this one here is our cute character. So we're going to go straight to Jan just in a wee moment and do a demonstration within these ones here. But the price of these ones is off the chart because you're going to be getting everything that I'm going to be showing you. Many of you did already go for it within Wake Up Call. Some of you, I know, tend to wait on the demonstration. I know I've done a quick one within Wake Up Call, but you might be waiting to see what Jan does with these ones. So you're getting everything, everything for £19 or $25. Your platinum price is £15.20 or $20. And you've got all of these are going to follow that concept that Jan was just showing you before within the finished samples. So you've got the elephant, the front and the back, but you've then also got the quirky sentiments to go with the elephant. You've got the little fairy, all that same concept, the front, the back of the gift tag or a bookmark or any way that you want to use it, but you've got quirky sentiments to go with each of these. You've got the little mouse as well. You've then also got your giraffe. You've also then going to be getting the unicorn. You're then going to get the doggy. You're then going to get the bunny rabbit. And you're also going to get the cat as well. So each of these have the front of the character. You've also then got the back of the character. What you've then also got as well, each of these ones, different quirky sentiments to work with each individual character. Now, the, what I was saying within Wake Up Call this morning, and this is the way that I kind of thought about it. So you've got that saving of 60% on that bundle there now the way that i was thinking of it that it's kind of like buy four and get four free and the reason i think of it that way as well is because that today's price is 19 pound or 25 dollars four of them would be 23 pound 96 so just a couple pound more on your today's price and stateside you would be 31 dollars 96 so like five six dollars just over uh, your um your today's price so for me it's kind of like you buy in buy four you get four free in that kind of rough way that i worked about worked it out as a crafter and a customer still exceptional value it's eight collections in one there 48 elements with your stamps and your dies i think we need to go straight to jan now and have a look to see what we can do with these incredible character gift tags jam 
Right, okie dokies, I've had fun with these, I must admit. The last couple of days I've been trying to think of as many different ways as I can to use these because there is a concept behind it. And as always, I'm going to start with that concept and we're going to make a bookmark to start off with. So okay. bookmarks, gift tags was the idea behind this particular product, but then it was like, what else can we do with them? And that's hopefully what I can show you through the course of the show. It is a masterclass, so we're gonna work our way through and look at lots of different things. But taking all that aside, just as a cute character stamp on their own, just to make a little embellishment, they are absolutely mm -hmm. adorable. And that price is so manageable, I think. It's like, yeah. you know, we have a lot of larger bundles that we bring to you. But this one today, eight stamp sets and the metalwork to go with them for that price is unreal. So I've chosen enjoy the little things. And that is one of the sentiments that come in in this particular one. All the sentiments are different. So all the packs, there's no duplications okay. with them. They're all sort of key in roughly with the you know the type of uh, idea so like this one for example says have a mice day so just to play on words there and just to say thank you and then you've got enjoy the little thing so each one comes to you the same you get your metal work which essentially is almost like an edgeable die because it doesn't have a cutting edge along the bottom here so it goes all the way around the outside of the character. It also creates the little tag with the hole in for you. Mm -hmm. And then it, it, it stops here. So that basically means that you can go from this length to whatever length you want to cut by just trimming the rest of it to match. And that's what I'm going to show you first. And then also in there, you get your little stamp set that matches. Now, these have been done really carefully so that the stamp the die fits around the outline to cut it. So I'm gonna show you that basic concept to get started today, and then we'll take it from there as we go through the afternoon. Excellent. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is do the stamping. So there's two different ways to do it. Some people like to die cut first and then stamp into that gap. Some people prefer to stamp and then die cut. So I'm on that, that second team. I like to do the, uh, the stamping first, and then I can position my die around the stamping. So all I'm going to do then is take the front of my little mouse, pop him on the card. I've got a piece of card much bigger than I actually need so that I can cut into it. So we're going to pop him on here. I'm going to attach him to my stamping platform. And again, you can use any means for stamping. Okay. If you have one of the smaller platforms, the rocker blocks, an acrylic block, however you prefer to do it. And then because I'm going to use some of my tri-blend markers, which we've also popped on the show for you, I just need to be mindful of my stamping ink. So I've taken our alcohol proof ink mm -hmm. from the finesse range. It's got my alcohol marker so that that outline sets and it doesn't bleed when I start coloring. So we're just going to ink him up really cute little mouse they're all cute aren't they they've all got that really fun cute look to them all and we'll stamp him on to there producer dean's after the unicorn yes, he's coming he? up later dean <laughs> just for you dean i've tried to use as many of them as i can so again i'm just going to give that a second coat i don't think i'd ink the middle of the stamp up properly there but again the beauty of having the platform means yes. that i can just straight down over the top that's better okay sort that out in a second and all i'm going to do then is add a little bit of color now again it's up to you whether you cut out first or whether you color now i'm usually advocating cutting out first because if you've spent time coloring and then you slip with your dye mm -hmm. you've sort of spoiled it so we'll take the dye and we'll cut this out so the cutting sort of side of it is like about halfway inside the metal work. But if you place it over the top of your design, you should be able to see the whole of that stamped image inside the design there. So uh, we can stick that down now with a little bit of tape so that it doesn't move. Okay. And that begins that cutting process. So again, I'm just going to check that I can see all my line art on the stamp and then tape it in place and then we're going to pop it through our machine now if you'd have seen me on tuesday i was like a kid in the candy shop craig it was my first outing was it? with the gemini oh. 2 and honestly they were trying to get a photograph of my face because i was just absolutely blown away mm -hmm. absolutely i wasn't sure that i needed a gemini 2 because there's nothing wrong with my no, gemini no. at home 
But then when I used it, I was like, oh. What is it for you, Jan, who's been, you know, trapped for many years and had the Gemini for many years, what is it about the Gemini 2 that you love about it? The colour. The colour, yeah. I love the raspberry pink. You know I'm a pink girl at yeah, heart. Yeah. But having said that, I think the two things that struck me more than anything was the extended optical sensor yeah. and the fact that that then allows me to use... Because I've been a big advocate of using the original Gemini with the junior plates, which always went in sideways. But now we can actually turn them and pop them in portrait on here and it does the job and it was just so quiet so i think that quieter. was the original the initial face it was a bit it went a bit like oh, mm -hmm. like this mm -hmm. but yeah just so smooth that i'm i'm now debating whether i need it in my life because i've not actually had a birthday present yet from my hubby because i didn't know what i wanted okay um and i was like there's no point in buying something just for the sake of it so mm, not sure yet whether i'm weighing up whether i need one yeah. or not becky swan was the same yeah and then she went and bought one so yes, it's it's on my uh, my sort of wish list at the moment. So what we've done here then now, if I take that excess card away at the top, you can actually see that we've started to cut our tag out for this one. All right. So all you need to do then, either with your ruler and craft knife or with a guillotine, is basically just extend it. If I just grab, whoa, have we got? our small guillotine oh that's the large one that one work okay and all i'm going to do is line up that edge that's already started to cut with the edge of the guillotine okay and then just basically extend that cut line okay. all the way down to the bottom okay and then you can see at the other side if we turn it i'm going to pop it uh, that way get myself my orientation right and again I'm going to use the edge of the guillotine and I'm also going to check this edge to make sure that I'm actually running straight and then we're literally going to do the same at this end okay. so I'm just making sure that the lines are parallel making sure that it's lined up with the edge here and then we're going to come down this edge as well didn't quite get far enough across there let me just move it across a second because you kind of got that guideline to start with, yeah. don't you? You there can just go, go back and follow. That's it. So you can see there now, I've actually gone a little bit too far with that one, but you get the idea with it. Let me just pop that down there for a second. So you can see where we're at. It's on there. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Now then, for the purpose of this particular one, I actually want him separate. So all I've done is use my scissors and fussy cut around him to free him from here. And then I've used my tri blends, so I've got the brush pens here to literally fill it in. And I've ended up with this one, okay? And then the reverse part of him, where he's looking from the back, I've done the same and cut it out in its entirety, okay? So for this particular demo, I wanted it separate. And then I'm going to pop it together to make the bookmark and it's going to be a shaker bookmark so i've got all the components ready decided on the size that i wanted for my bookmark there you can just see there and then because it's going to be a bookmark i didn't want to put too much depth on this because if it's going to be trapped inside a book i didn't want lots of foam tape okay. so i've made my little shaker pocket reasonably flat and this is just made out of one of the um polythene storage oh, packets yes. yeah or sometimes if you've had um anything any of the products come in something like this so mm -hmm. it is really you can see it's very flat and then i've just yes. put some shaker pieces and sealed it so this is going to sit inside here like so and then i've made a second part that we're going to stick over the top so essentially it's going to look like all so right. okay so all i need to do is stick that together so i've popped tape on the back of the the frame here and this was exactly the same size as the back piece and then I've just cut the middle out with my uh, craft knife to the size that I wanted so if I take all those liners off there and then I don't think it matters which way up that goes all I'm going to do is stick this one onto the back of here so that it's disguised behind here okay 
like so. And then I'm going to do the same again. So I just need to grab um, my red line tape there. What a great idea to still be able to create a shaker, but without that bulk. Yeah, because as I say, if it's going to go inside a book or a magazine or something like that, you don't want it. Normally, no, we don't. put the foam on to mm -hmm. give the shaker pieces room to move around. Um, but obviously, you don't want that depth if it's going to be inside a book. So again, I'm just going to go back to my liner tape and I'm just going to put a couple of strips on the reverse side now of that plastic. Just be careful when you're trimming the tape not to snip the plastic because we don't want those little shaker Trimmy. pieces to escape. So just be really careful that you're only cutting the tape. Get rid of those air bubbles. And then what we're going to do is release the liner off this one. I can see so many people doing this at home in some, some form, that shaker. And then again, just make sure that it's pressed down and you can release it. And then we're actually going to pop this one and line it up with the back. So again, these both measure the same size. So once I've got that lined up at the bottom, I can then just trap that shaker element inside there. So we've got our bookmark essentially with the shaker pieces oh. inside and then for the little cutie. All right, so I've just got an extra piece of the design paper and what I'm going to do, I've snipped just round his arms here and freed them at both sides, which means I can now pop him over the top oh. of my piece of paper here and he's going to sit at the top here like so. Okay, so I'm going to put a little tiny dab of glue behind him. So just behind here to, to attach him to the piece of paper. Okay. And again on this one. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little piece of tape on the back of here because I'm sticking it to the plastic. I'm going to go with the tape right, just across okay. the back. Yeah. To actually put that onto my bookmark there. I can already, out the corner of my eye, see the comments coming through saying what a great idea this is by being able to create a shaker but still have it flat. Yeah. I've done, with, I've done them before when I've done the shaker classes where I've, I've, I've actually put them together like this um, using... You can use any kind of plastic as long as you're able to seal it. Um, it works. You can do like infinity shaker cards where the whole front of your card is actually, you know, the shaker element. So he's going to sit at the top like so. And then when we turn him over, this one's going to match him completely. So they are the Brilliant. same image, just back and front. They've been very cleverly drawn so that that one piece of metal is the same for the majority yeah. of them. Occasionally, if there's a slight difference in it, you have to stamp on the back of the die cut. And I'll explain that as we go on so that you know what I mean with it. So all I'm going to do is pop some tape uh, some glue on the back of this one and then I'm going to line it up so that the top part of him matches okay. and the rest of it is going to overlap the back of the bookmark. Now if you want to stamp or put a message you've got plenty of room here on the bookmark to actually pop a, a message on it if you're going to gift it to someone. Okay and then I've just stamped out from that stamp set the enjoy the little things and use one of my um, dies to cut it out there and that one's going to stick across the front here so again we've got a little bit of liner on there oops very friendly there we go so that one's going to go on the front here like so And then just the last little bit, I've just got a bit of ribbon out of my stash there, which I'm just going to thread through the top just to hold that together mm -hmm. at the top. So we'll pop that one through here. I like how it even die cuts the little hoop at the top. It's well. clever, isn't it? Yeah, They've all it really got that is. little... And again, if you want it to be an embellishment, and again, I'll show you this later through the course of the show, just trim that little bit off so that you've actually got it as a just a character on yeah. its own, basically. So again, cut that down a wee bit. It doesn't need to be quite as long as that. And you can see there how we've got our sort of bookmark that's going to go inside the book. It's not 
too thick oh. it's just a couple of layers of card the base card is our matte black card stock that i've used and then you've got that shaker element inside with the little mouse so he was enjoy the little things which is what's on my sentiment and if i just give you a shill that way you can see him there how fun and cool a little bit different as well is that wow jan absolutely love go. that one and you can do that with the eight different characters yep. as well all eight of them so going for all eight now you did actually see the screen right eight of them for 19 pound or 25 dollars with a platinum price of 15 20 or 20 dollars if we do go back to that today's price just very very briefly look what you're saving you're saving 28 pound 92 or $38.92. So when you are going to get them home, with that cost today, it actually works out that you're saving over 60%. So when it comes to all eight of them, you're going to get the little cat. So you can do exactly what Jan's done with the cat. Don't forget as well, so they have been featured previously on Crafters TV, so you can always go back afterwards and watch their shows back on our YouTube channel so that you can get more ideas and inspiration. However, that's just one of many that Jan's shown you. I'm going to go through a few things first. Uh, not speed through, but we'll go through relatively quickly so we can go back to Jan. But you've got the dog. You've then also got our uh, unicorn. You've also got the giraffe. You've also got the little mouse. So that's the one that Jan was just using there a moment ago. You've got the fairy. And then you've also got your elephant. Now, when it comes to all of these ones, as Jan explained, you've got the front and the back of the character. You've got the die, which is symmetrical. So it means then you can then use the front and the back with that one die cut. And each of them have their own quirky sentiments to work with that character as well. So there's no duplicates whatsoever that run all the way throughout that 48 piece, which is a mix of dies and stamps. £19 or $25 for all of that with a platinum price of £15.20 or $20. They're there on shop the day, they're there on .co.uk.com or also for you guys Central Europe at .eu as well. Now you may want a few things to colour in with when it comes to the actual cute character stamps. We've got an out of this world deal. Now this is going to be 24 hours only. It is from Spectrum Noir and it is our Aqua Blend pencil. So these ones are water based. So your paintbrush and water, maybe it's going to be your actual water brush or maybe your clear sparkle overlay. So with this one here, essentially it works out that you're buying two, getting one for free. It's a three piece, gives you 72 pencils in total, £48 or $58. Now that is the today's price. If you are platinum, that means you're going to be paying £38.40 or $46.40. That means you're going to get the essential collection. So that really is the essential of colours when it comes to the rainbow or even the colour wheel. So that's going to work for many different kind of uh, styles uh, you're going to be colouring in, you know, whether it is hair, whether it's portrait, whether it's skin, whether it is floral, whether, of course, it is your foliage. But you've got a couple that are dedicated for these scenes. So you've got your landscape collection and then you've also got your portrait collection. So maybe you are looking to stock up on these ones here. Maybe you've just come out of the colouring pencils, the dual colour pencils with Leanne Academy of Colour, and you want to now just work on that practice level of your water-based pencils. You can have then, of course, do that with the Aqua Blend pencils. Maybe you've already got one, then you can then, of course, uh, keep two of them gift the other one, maybe you are just going to keep them all for yourself, but the out of this world deal does mean that it's going to be lasting for 24 hours only, or while stocks last. Within this deal, it works out that you're buying two, you're getting one for free. It's a platinum price of £38.40, or $46.40. With them being water-based as well, please don't think that all you can do is colour and pull out the actual colour with them, because you can do lots of different techniques as well. You can do backgrounds, and uh, that's just one of many when it comes to the Aqua Blend pencil. So they're on shop the day as well. Right, we're going to keep on the lines of colour in here, and we have got what is our original, where it started at all, the Academy of Colour.
Now, you are going to get everything that you need inside. You are also going to get the binder as well. Now, the binder gives you the index cards. It gives you the pockets for you to store all your artwork as you're learning with Leanne. And when I say learning with Leanne, you get all the education as well. So all the education that kickstarts from what was the original Academy of Colour. So many of you at home yourself has says the price of the Academy of Colour, this is you saying it at home, not us. You've said multiple times the price of the Academy of Colour is worth the education time with Leanne alone. There's no presenters. At the time, most of them were done live with Leanne. So she answers questions solely based on what she's doing with that education of the Academy of Colour. But then you can go back to time and time and time again. You can go back to tomorrow, next week, next year. And Leanne herself said with a show with me to all of you that that will always be available for you to go back to forever. And she used the word ever for you to go back to. So within this set, what you are going to be getting is a lovely mix of duo colours. So you're going to get your alcohol duo colours. Now, just to say, these are not going to be new colours that are different from Tri-Blends or Classic or Illustrators. You may recognise them. But again, this is about that ease, that education. It's all there in one for you to pick up and then get that uh, classes with Liam. So they're there, for instance, this one here, uh, or this one, you've got a grey. So you've got one tone and a different tone. That's why it's the duo. So it's that same concept all the way. And you're also going to get a blender. Then you've got your duo aqua. So these ones being the water based. So you're going to learn lots with the actual Academy of Colour when it comes to the aqua pens. You've then also got two Spectrum Noir brushes. Now within these ones here, it's not just colouring that Leanne teaches you. It's all about backgrounds and different effects. You've got a water spritzer and you've got a white opaque pigment pen there as well. So Leanne will talk you through preserving the highlight. If you don't preserve it yourself, just essentially if you colour over the full image, come along with a little bit of your white pen. You've seen me do it a number of times and create that little highlight yourself. That's all there. Then the education comes from the stamps. You're getting all of this within this 124 piece collection. So you've got some florals, you've got butterflies, and you've got some sentiments. Now, each of these images serve a purpose. So you've also going to get some more florals, butterflies. You've got an angel there with the wings and that lovely flowing gown. You've then got that portrait of the hair in the face, all there to serve a purpose. But this stamp set for me, this is where it kickstarts it all. And four of the most usable and learning shapes to start with is your heart, your cylinder, your circle, your triangle. Leanne will teach you from these four where to get that shade, that roundness with the heart, that curve with the cylinder, that complete round with that ball, and then you've got the triangles with the different angles. So for instance, you can then start to learn the shade from the circle and transition that into the cherries or maybe down into the uh, lanterns down here. So all these stamps do serve a purpose. Not only that, you are going to be getting some alcohol color cardstock for you to then learn with. You're also going to be getting some of your watercolor card as well. And you'll also get a really thick acetate sheet that's got Spectrum Noir printed on it. Now don't use that for anything such as shakers or to cut into it. That's there as a little bit of a mixing palette or a blending palette that will become all apparent once you start the education. You do get a little card inside. It's got a QR code on the back of it. You just simply zap that with your phone or tablet. You don't even need a QR code app. All you need to do is open your camera, hovel, and then it'll take you to that link. And then as Debbie Fisher said yesterday, and I'm going to keep saying it now because she's already said it, if you click on the QR code when you get that Academy of Colour 124 piece, that also opens up the education for all the future ones that she's already done oh. of all the add-ons. Even if you don't have the add-ons, you can still go back and watch these ones that Leanne's already done so you can still learn mm. with your Academy of Colour or of course Spectrum Noir Tri-Blends Aqua Pen. So that's there for you, £85 or $115. Platinum price, however, comes down to £68 or $92. Always a popular one when, when we feature it. And I know it was busy earlier on within Wake Up Calls, so just keep that one in mind. And then last but by no means least, before we do a few comments, and then we'll go straight back to Jan. 
we need to clean our stamps. Now, I'm the first one to admit before we got this, uh, I was very bad at not cleaning my stamps. Very, very bad. And I do clean them most of the time. I do forget sometimes. But we've got our stamp cleaner back in stock. And we've got not only have we got the stamp cleaner station, we've got the solution as well. Now, what you could then come along and do is spritz that solution on your stamp. One side, well, in actual fact, both sides, you've got a lovely soft kind of sponge feel, fur feel. One side, you're going to spritz your stamps with the solution. And then you'll easily see, as I open this one up, at the bottom, it says clean. So you're just then going to spritz your stamp and clean on one side. And then the other side says dry. So you're just going to come along and dry your stamps and that's you good to go. What I would say as well is this one does come out so that this will get dirty. This will get a little dirty with the excess ink coming off. This will get very dirty. You can just pop that under warm water just to give that a little clean. But that's going to clean your stamps. Please remember as well, it will clean your quick dry, but some of them might still stain your stamps. They'll still work absolutely fine, but I know the fuchsia, that can then sometimes stain your stamps as well. So the colour might not come off as in a stain way, but the excess ink will absolutely come off. So you can get both of them, £20.98 or $27.90, with a platinum price of $16.78 or $22.32. Uh, we've got Suzette is in, Gilmore is in, going in that last demonstration for Jan. Betty is saying, lovely Jan. E. Colin is saying, it's adorable. Lois is saying, such a sweet book marker shaker. Great idea, Jan. Thank you. Linda is saying, that's so lovely. Uh, Peg is saying, that would make a cute stocking stuffer for kids. Yeah, it would do. Evelyn saying she loved it. Kathy says she's loved it. Pamela, Lynn, Carol, Eleanor. Uh, Shan is saying she loved it. Jeffrey saying he loved it. Uh, you calling us saying again that she loved it. Melanie saying she loved it. <laughs> Tracy, Kathy, Eleanor, Lynn, all saying how much they absolutely loved that last demonstration. Jan, Jeffrey's in saying happy Friday. Craig and Jan and all the superstar CCTV crew and folks here. Michelle Butler is in. Uh, we've got Kathy Myers in. Polly's in, Rosalind is in, saying happy Friday to us all, how much they loved that demonstration. So seeing you loved it so much, let's go back to Jan, we were going to have a look at them again. Right, so special request from producer Dean, he wanted to have a look at the little penguin. So this one is Warm Winter Wishes, so there are right. two collections there running is. side by side. Same concept, set. One of them are sort of everyday characters. One of them are more winter stroke Christmas characters. So to have them all, you've got that facility to mix and match for most, pretty much most occasions that you'll come across. So warm winter wishes on this one. It's also got a happy Christmas in here. And it's also got, let me just get the stamp set out because it's very small on the packet. It also says walking in a winter wonderland. So you can see again, we've got the same idea with the front of the character and the, the back of the character. So all the little stamp sets take that same format. And then the die is pretty much the same. You've just got the right outline for the right character. So when I said earlier that some of them needed to uh, stamp on the reverse, this is what I mean, because if you have a look at the stamp set here, we're going to use the die to cut out the little guy at the front. And you can see that that fits perfectly around the outline of my stamp. Now, when we go to the back, the hat's actually pointing the opposite way. So when you bring this to go over here, you can see that it doesn't line oh, up yeah. properly. OK, so essentially you're going to cut, you're going to cut this out and then you're going to stamp on the back of it so that your stamp. Does that make sense? That does. Yeah. If I actually take the stamp off here now, if this was my die cut, I would need to stamp on the other side of it so that it lines up with the stamp. Yeah, got you. So that was the only difference. Some of them do need to be done that way. Some of them, that the image is symmetrical, so you can do whichever way. So a, exactly the same as what I did before. I'm not going to die cut on every single demo. I'll, I'll probably go every other demo mm -hmm. because it's pretty much the same yeah. concept. But again, I've stamped out my character and I've used the die and I've actually made myself just a shorter bookmark for this one. So I've left this one intact. It's actually stamped onto the flat bookmark and then I've done 
nothing on the reverse of this one because I'll show you what I mean. You could, I could actually put him on the back, but for the purpose I'm going to use it, this one's going to go on the front of a card. All right, so I didn't actually need the character on the back. I've just done the front. Okay. So pop him to one side. I've just made a very, very quick card blank, which I'm going to pop together with my tape pen. Again, I've got a bit missing out of the middle there just because I entered to use it for something else. Mm -hmm. So again, I'm going to put this inside just to create my matte layer on the inside. And then I've cut the front panel slightly shorter than the, uh, the back. Right. So you can see when this folds over, I've still got some of this showing. And then I've done a similar panel to go on the front here. Now the paper on this one is from one of our older um, Christmas paper pads. So I had a look through my pile of pads that are denoted to Christmas <laughs> to see or winter winter and winter, Christmas yeah. to see what I could find you may as well just keep them out John here we'll be getting close to it I soon. know it's going to be a couple of weeks I reckon I do you think so I think so anyway, Christmas yeah. in July isn't it in the crafting world so that's my card blank as such and then what I want to do is I want to create a panel on the front here okay and my gift tag well my my piece here is going to stick on the front so I'm just mm -hmm. going to put this on I don't need glue all the way across. I just need to put it on that one side. Okay. And I'm going to stick this. To, and that's basically the card. So that one's going to go a little bit further over than just centred, like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into like a little gift card holder. So I've just, for the purpose of this, it's just a piece of blank card this could be a gift card from any of your stores that you went to watch, you wish to give and i've just made a little vellum envelope using the enveloper board to pop that in so that's going to be my pretend gift card and what i want to do is have this so that it's held on the little holder here to go on the front of the card so what i've done i was like right let's have a little think about how we can attach this so i've got um a circle with my stitch circle dies and I've cut it in half okay and we're literally going to put one at the bottom here no way they're simple and we're going to put one at the top to just be able to slide that gift card in and out so what I've done is just put a little bit of tape on the bottom of here do you know how many times over the years I've tried to create my own little gift tag holder with slits with a craft knife or a circle die but only got, let my plates go in so far to reverse <laughs> it out and all I've had to do was die cut a circle and, and cut, cut it, it in, in half. half. Yep. And then I'm actually going to trim this from the back so that it matches the front of my little bookmark here or, or my holder. So I'm just going to take the corners off. I've used my corner rounder punch just on the bottom of this to make it look more, uh, more sort of bookmarky. You can leave it square if you don't have any corner punches. And then I've left this top section is actually loose. I've just put tape across the bottom so we can now slide our gift card in here. And then I can position the other one at the top and we're going to do the same with this one. So I'm going to pop this one across here just under my image so that it doesn't block the image on the top stick it down and then I'm going to do the same I'm just going to trim away that excess from the side so that it's all nicely in line with that little holder there okay. my mind is absolutely blown <laughs> on that one how simple but how effective okay. and then literally this will just tuck inside because I've not stuck it all the way down you can see how that just holds it in place OK, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pop this on the front of our card. All right. So again, I'm just going to use you could actually I've got later on uh, the one that everybody's waiting for with the unicorn is a similar idea. OK, but it's actually loose. I've used a magnet to attach it to the gotcha. front of the card. This one I'm actually going to stick down because I want it to stay in place. But if you just wanted the whole part of this to come off, you could pop a magnet under here and a magnet on the back of here and it would just literally click on and off. I'm actually going to stick this one down because I want it to remain on the front of the card because then you've still got some decoration when you've taken the gift card out. So mm -hmm. this one's going to go just at an angle like so. And then I've got just a little tiny bit of um, ribbon again. As I say, all the holes are punched 
I might have been better doing that before I stuck it down, but here we go. Should be able to get it through there. Where there's a will, there's a way. There, there we go, says. look. Okay, and then I just need to get those just, two pieces. Just quickly say it as well. This is why, one of many reasons why we love all of you guys so much. A lot of Simmers have said it. One of many have said along the same lines, I would rather hear a fan than any of you fainting. Stay cool, oh, nice bless. water. And quite a few of you have said something along the lines. Thank you so much for that one. Um, I really, really do appreciate that one. We, we, we both do. Trouble Thank is you. we're not used to these temperatures, we're not, are, are we? It's no, like no. we do nothing but moan in the winter because it's too <laughs> no. cold. Yeah. And then when it gets to this part of the year, we're just like, oh my days, we're not used to it at all. And then part of that set, the same little stamp set, I've stamped out the warm winter wishes. And we've just got some foam pads on the back of there. That one's going to stick onto my little vellum pocket here. And then just as a final embellishment, I've just cut a little star there out of a scrap of the turquoise. And that one's going to go, I think, on the bottom of here. Just to tie it in with, with the background. But that's the actual design. And then this will slide out, so you can take this out, you can open your envelope and reveal the gift card, <laughs> and then it literally just slides back in again here. So when we turn it around like that, you've got your card, and then you've got the little gift card to go with it as well. Or it might just be a little special message in there, it doesn't have to be a gift card, you no. can just put a little special message in there, yeah? Okay. Um, Joan, what a cute idea. Eleanor, what a neat idea for a gift card. Stephanie, love this, Jan. So clever. Cindy Conley is saying, I love using these for bookmarks, something beside a bookmark. This is absolutely brilliant. Catbot is saying, this is brilliant. I'm getting some of these. Thank you for the fab demo. Betty Weaver is saying, oh my God, that is awesome. Uh, Cindy Conley is saying, hey, fan away. Uh, and then we've got Alja is saying, that's such a great idea, Jan. Beautiful. It really is. I am taking that idea. If only this was like a week and a bit ago before I sent my brother's gift card for his birthday, I would have done something along the lines with the uh, kind of the everyday characters. But these ones here, so Jan was actually using one of the Christmas collections here. Now, I can't believe we're still green on the screen. We went green within wake up call. I think after this one, this could potentially go very, very quick after that demonstration. So within this one here, this is a lovely six pack that you've got. One, two, three, four, five. I seem to be missing one of them, but let's, let's go through what we've got here. So we have got our little elf. Remember, you can use them in the same way that Jan showed you within the first demonstration or as to what she just done there. So you've got the little elf, front, back, and the quirky sentiments. You've then got your little penguin as well. You've then also got your little fairy. So if you're wanting to know the names of them, just in case at home. So you've got Sendant Christmas Cheer. You've then also got your Warm Winter Wishes. You've then also got your Peace and Joy. You've then also got your Gingerbread Wishes. And then we've also got Ho, 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 with the Santa Claus. So it, sh it should, so should it be, so if I miss glad tidings, glad tidings. So you will also get glad tidings. So that'll give you six. Do we know offhand what the glad tidings is, character wise? Nutcracker, nutcracker, there you go. So you're going to get the nutcracker as well. So with that one being a six set, that means uh, the price is a little bit lower than the all occasion one. £14 or $18. If you are platinum, that's then going to come down to eleven twenty or £14.40. $14.40. It is green on the screen, which means it is uh, limited stock. Therefore, we've got just a very, very small quantity left. So you've got the options with the Christmas ones. Them, the cute characters, the all-occasion ones, as well as everything else, is across on our website for you to check a look at when it comes to Shop the Day. Now, we're going to give you a little bit of an opportunity to check out your baskets. Uh, I'm away to have a look at that really, really cute card demonstration that Diane just done, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes with lots more demonstrations.
Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be coming in. Should be coming <laughs> What does she do? Exactly what does she do? <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I watch you every day, and it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. All right, Theo, I just want to do a little bit of a recap on a few things before we go back to Jan and have a look at some more incredible demonstrations. Here in the UK, you guys stateside, and there's uh, many other countries across the globe. We've got Father's Day coming up. I know many will be celebrating. I know obviously it'll be a sad day for many. You know, we'll be sending our love and hugs to those uh, who won't be celebrating. I will be here on Sunday with Michelle for the first two shows, and then it's going to be myself and Lily. So if you are free, if you need that little bit of company do come and join us uh, we'll have some fun no out no doubt we have got a first look i am not telling you what the first look is i am telling you it is an epic first look that's all that i'm saying on sunday michelle's also got a craft along before we have a look as well at that second chance sunday so that is the weekend so in celebration of father's day what we have got across on our website is when you go to the home screen you are going to see an icon for double points on selective items now these are selective items celebrating father's day where you can do exactly that get double points on them. So have a look in that category, see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Some little corkers of a gems in there for you to look at. But what we've also got, and it's actually, as it was this morning, it was just underneath the Father's Day icon on our website. And that is a pick and mix. Now we've got three categories, so you can't mix the categories, but I'll explain as you go into each category. So we've got craft essentials. Click into Craft Essentials and you can get any five items within that category for 20, 20 pound, 20 dollars, 20 euros. The next one down within that category, you have got Spectrum Noir. So you can pick three items for 20 pound, dollars or euros. And then what we've got is we've got Sarah's Signature category where you can get 10 items 
for 40 pounds, dollars or euros. So that's all on uh, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. That's where you need to go. So when you have a look at Shop the Day, have a look at these three different categories as well. Just to say the Father's Day is going to be running all weekend till the end of Sunday uh, this weekend. Now, what we have got, of course, just the other week there, our G2, Gemini 2, launched. And just the other day, we had the full range of accessories in stock for you to take advantage of. And boy, you've been taking advantage. Let's have a look at our large plate collection. So this is your large plates. Now, within this bundle here, you are going to be £62.94 or $89.94. You're going to be saving 10% on an a necessity for your Gemini 2 that we all need, but we always still like to give you that discount, you're going to be £50.35 platinum price or $71.95. Now within this bundle, what you are going to be getting is your two cutting plates. Now this time round, they are white because that's going to work with the optical sensor. However, if you've still got your clear plates from the OG Gemini, the white Gemini, you can absolutely use these when it comes to your original Gemini. And also, what you can then do is use these new plates in with your OG, and then you can use your OG plates, the clear one, in with the new Gemini. They're white because of one, the optical sensor, but two, please, 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 please do f get into the habit of flipping and rotating your cutting plates. If you do that, these will last you three times longer. So keeping in mind, flipping and rotating your white plates, they're going to last you three times longer. So you need two, and you get two. You're also going to get your rubber embossing mat as well, all this gorgeous raspberry colour that we have got. You're also going to be getting your magnetic shim, and then you're also going to be getting your metal shim. And then you're also going to be getting your frosted shim as well. Now your frosted shim, I don't flip and rotate mine as much as my plates. But if you do get into the habit of even flipping and rotating this one, this will last you 10 times longer. So get into that habit, you know they're going to last you a lot longer. $62.94 or $89.94 for that full set. Platinum price £50.35 or $71.95. Please remember as well, if you have got the original OG, maybe you're like Craig, I can't reach for the new Gemini at the moment, you can then still get these plates and they will work with your original Gemini as well. So don't worry about that one. So that's your large ones. But maybe you want to do what Jan's been doing, what I like to do as well, and predominantly use your junior your plates which you no longer have to go in sideways because you've got that full length optical sensor you can go straight in portrait and even if it went in at a little bit of an angle it doesn't really matter because it's still going to go so same configuration with this bundle here but this is your junior plates so you've got your two cutting plates once again white with the optical sensor but flip and rotate them they'll last you three times longer you're going to get your magnetic shim you're then going to be getting your rubber embossing mat. You're going to be getting your frosted shim. Flip and rotate that. That's going to last you 10 times longer. All of these, by the way, are 9 by 6 And you're also going to get your metal shim as well. So that's your six-piece collection where you're going to be £43.14 or $59.34 with a saving of 10%. But even at platinum level, you're going to get your discount where you're going to be £34.51 or £47.47. Another one that I only seen for the first time yesterday, and let me tell you, it is so simple, but absolutely genius, is your magnetic storage stand. Now, just to say, you don't get the dies with them. That is then just to show you the concept of these ones here. So it does fold flat, but what you have got is the ability for it to sit at the side. Now, yesterday within my craft along, Bohemian craft along with Debbie, I put my dies on here that I was going to be using for my project. They simply just pop on with that magnet. That whole base there at the front is magnetic. So the dies, if you've got ones that you're going to use a lot within a certain project, maybe you're going to be using the same ones over and over again. You know, Debbie Robinson, she loves her little sentiment die from the Gemini Mini. So she might have hers on there all the time. The Hello die from last year's advent calendar, I use that all the time. That's going to be sitting on my magnetic stand all the time because I uh, use it all the time. And as uh, we, Jamie, 
and I always do that because he's like seven foot tall and <laughs> I still call him, he's, you know, he's not quite seven foot tall. But when you say wee Jamie, you think because um, height wise and he's actually very tall and he's quite young as well, quite young. Uh, yes, I use my Hello Die within the craft along quite a lot. So you can get your hands on that $7.99 or $9.95 with a platinum price of $6.39 or $7.96. And just to say it as well, that's then because it's magnetic, that's going to hold any dies. It doesn't have to be Crafter's Companion, any dies or anything with a magnet base to it. You can absolutely use it, no problem at all. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look again at our cute character so we can go straight to Jan and then when we'll come back we'll look at them in more detail. But you are going to be getting the elephant, you're going to be getting the fairy, you're going to be getting the mouse, you're then going to be getting the giraffe, you're also going to be getting the unicorn, you're going to be getting the dog, you're going to be getting the bunny rabbit and you're also going to get the cat. All of these £19 or $25, platinum price $15.20 or $20 for that full eight set. They are giving you 48 elements in total, a combination of stamps and dies. We've had two demonstrations already, so let's go straight back to Jan, where she's going to show us something else that's incredible with these uh, sets. Right, so we're going to go back to that everyday collection, and I've got your the top dog. All right, really, really cute. Uh, they're, they're all, I, I, would, I would struggle to choose a favourite, to be honest. And a lot of them, it depends on the occasion, it depends on the recipient, um, it depends what, you know, if you're gifting something. So, yes, yeah, so much sort of coverage for different um, celebrations and things like that. So we have got our little metal outline again. And then again, each one, you can see now that they're all forming that same sort of concept. We've got the front, we've got the back. And then in this one, you've got your the top dog. Happy, yappy birthday, not happy birthday. And our best friends leave paw prints on our hearts. They do okay? indeed. Something that both you and I can appreciate, Absolutely, Craig. Yeah, yeah, very um, much. Just, yes. just to say, because they don't actually know yet, just to say, uh, our Floyd, he did pass away last week. He did pass away last mm. week. That's what Jan, Jan is referring to. I know. Um, so it's sad. So we're both, it's a lot of meaning to yeah, us, doesn't it? Yeah, my little ones, he's, he's been, a, well, I'm saying a few months now. It's over six months now. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. It it's is a hard. tough one, isn't it? Anybody that's been there will understand. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to go back to that, pretty much that original concept. And if you were watching at the top of the show, we did the bookmark with it. I'm now going to do the gift tag. So we're going to make a little gift tag. So what I've done is I've got my card at the ready. And this time I'm going to do the die cutting first to show you both ways of doing it. So last time we stamped and then we put the edge round okay. it and cut out. This time I'm going to die cut and then we'll actually put the stamp inside it. It's really easy to line them up regardless of what uh, platform you're using to stamp with. So all I've done is pop this onto my card. I'm going to take my plates here. And like Craig was saying, you know, just each time have a look and can see that there's just a slight curve on this mm -hmm. one now. So it's time to turn it over. We want it to go back through those rollers the other way to keep it, you know, optimum sort of state of uh, play. And then I've got my shims. And for some reason, I'm missing another white plate. So I I've was got as my, well, yeah. I've got my clear one here. So they both work, but I'm going to turn it this way just so that the sensor can pick up the, uh, the white here. So again, we're going to go through. We're going to pass it through the Gemini. Just love it. It's just so quiet. It really is. Couldn't get over how no, quiet no. it was. And, you know, quieter, but quicker. Ben was laughing at me. He was in hysterics. So I was just like, like this all night. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oops, there we go. So pop those to one side and then take our little guy off here. And this time I don't want it to be much longer than the actual uh, die was itself. So you can see we've cut out here. All I'm going to do now, again, you can do this on your guillotine. You can do it with your scissors. You can do it. However, I'm literally just going to take the bottom off here for speed and just make sure that it's actually parted company all the way around. Now I haven't brought my punch with me, okay. but I do like to use the corner rounder punch on them. Uh, just think it finishes it off, it just gives it a nice finish. And if you are tucking it in something, the rounded corners slide in and out of a pocket nice and easy rather than right, having a point a which tip. could get stuck. 
So then I'm going to bring my stamping apparatus back in again and I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of the dots on the back so that I can fasten it on here and then the dots will rub away from the back of there when I've finished. So on the front we're going to go with the front of him. Now the outline of the stamp matches up perfectly with the actual outline of the die. Mm -hmm. So it's dead easy to get them lined up. So I can see now that the edge of the stamp here matches the edge of the actual die cut. So if you just line it up over the top, you can see it fits perfectly. Now again, you know that I'm always singing the praises of this piece of equipment. Yeah. It does make life much easier because I know now that he's in exactly the right place I don't have to worry about lining it up again. Mm -hmm. It's going to go directly where I wanted it to go, where I sort of positioned it. So if you don't have... Have we got the magnetic platform in stock, guys? I know the guys will have a look, yeah. Because if you haven't got it, it just honestly revolutionised. When I used to teach the classes when I worked at the store, mm -hmm. There were so many people would say to me that, oh, I'm no good at stamping, Jan. It's not something I, I like doing because I can never do it properly. And I always used to say to them, it's not you, it's the equipment. Look yeah. at that. Perfect position. Come and have a look, Jamie. Come and have a look at him. It's look how well in. he's positioned. He's coming. It's right. You've got an identical border. Here he is. Look, all the way around him. It's perfectly positioned, and that's why that piece of equipment is so invaluable. Okay, thank you. Look at Get that. that work. Oh, what a team, eh? And then just peel him off here. And as I say, these just rub away. When you've just used a few like this, they just rub away off the back. So he's all sorted. And then I've done the same on the back. Where's my, oh, and the stamp's still over there. I'll put him back in a second. And then again, you know, using those beautiful brush pens. So if you haven't come across these before, we're going to talk more about the Spectrum Noir range on the later show. We've got Colour Me Happy coming up at 6 p.m. But you know that my tri-blends are my go-to alcohol markers. Oh, yeah. But then icing on the cake, what did Leanne do to the tri-blends? She added a brush nib. So we've now got tri-blend brush pens. So you've got the beauty of having the three tones of your colour, but with those beautiful brush nibs. And they can get into the smallest of places. So honestly, they also allow you to fill in spaces much quicker than the nibs. So if you have the tri-blends, you might think, oh, well, I don't need these, Jan, because I've already got tri-blends. I've got both. You know, and they've both got their same purpose. It depends what you're colouring, but you can see how quickly you can add colour into those areas and even the smallest of areas little bit here with his patches it's like the typical british bulldog this one isn't it it is isn't it it's yeah. gorgeous such a brilliant okay. character okay but just using those and then if i bring this one in that i've done at home you can see here how we've added a bit of shading yeah pop my ribbon in and i've just popped a little bit of paper a little and it's great they're great for scrap busting again true. these because Very they're so true. small i mean this one is pretty much the size of the die and the tag itself is just under three inches by an inch and a half so absolutely perfect for scrap busting and then i've just used the stamp on the back. Brilliant, Jan. Okay, so you've got that little, I just think they're great. I think whoever decided to do the reverse the side of the stamp, <laughs> honestly, hat goes off to them. It is a brilliant idea. So this is cute enough. And then you could write your to and from on the back, but then to turn it over and find out you've got the reverse of the little animal, mm -hmm. just think it's great. Just very quickly, Jan, while you were doing that, I went onto our website, the 8x8 stamping platforms out of stock across the board. Right. UK, US and Europe. That's because so. I'm always championing it. Yeah, so. Keep an eye. Always put in your website, uh, yeah. put in your, um, your address when it's back in stock. You'll be alerted when it's back in stock. So I'm actually just going to pop this one on a, a, a little gift box. So I've done the bulk of the work because I wanted the show to be about making the little character tags in different shapes and forms. So I've just literally got my box at the ready. I've just got the sides to pop on here. And then we're just going to use him as our tag to go on the top of the box so just very quickly add those and again I've been sort of trying to I'm on a mission Craig to use up pieces of scrap paper I don't know about you but I have got a massive box 
full of off cuts. Yeah. You know, if you cut into a piece of eight by eight or 12 by 12 and you don't use it all, I can't bring myself to throw it away. Nope. And I have got a massive, massive box of stuff. So my challenge has been to try using up some of the scraps, which is where this has come from. So I've popped some ribbon around the center piece here and we're literally gonna pop him on here as so our cute. gift tag. So I've just got um, a glue dot rather because I've not got my glue. Um, you could use your hot glue for this if you wish, but I haven't got mine on. So I'm just going to literally pop this one on the center of here. Give it a little press and then that should peel away. And then I'm just going to stick this one and I'm just going to pop it up near the ribbon okay. so that you can actually turn this over. And if you wanted to write a message on here, you could. And then very, very quickly, you've seen us making boxes before. It wasn't necessarily about the, uh, the boxes and the cards today. It was about the ideas that you can yeah. use these little cute tags with. So if I just pop that together quickly, done a lot of the work on the cards and the actual um, boxes and things. Mm -hmm. And then again, I've got my base there. And you can see how you've got that gorgeous little uh, accent. <laughs> Absolutely Brilliant. beautiful. So if I stand him up for you, you can see there, just as a gift tag, as opposed to a bookmark, just by altering the length of it, it's got so many different uses. And I've still got some more ideas for you left yet. That's so cute. So, so cute, where you've got all eight of them there. That's your cute characters. This is kind of, when I say kind of like the everyday ones, you've got your different cute characters. Uh, we do have an option of a five one, a six one, sorry, for the Christmas. We'll show you that just shortly. But this one here is your uh, character gift tags. And we say gift tags, but we've already seen three different ways in which you can use them from Jan and Masterclass. You're going to get 48 elements in total. That is a mix of the stamps and and the dies as well. So what you have got is you have got the cat there and you've got the die where Jan has already shown you in a couple of ways how you can use it. The front and the back, but then what you've got is you've got about three quirky sentiments that are going to work with each individual character. Now you've got no duplications when it comes to any of the sentiments. They are all unique and for each individual character. So you've got the cat. You've then also got the bunny rabbit. You've then also got the dog. So that was the one that Jan was just using there a moment ago. You've then got Dean's favorite with the unicorn. You've then also got the giraffe. You're then also going to get the mouse. You're then also going to get the little fairy. Start teaming that with your Once Upon a Time collection. That would be fab. And then you're also going to be getting the elephant as well. So every single set of these, you're going to get the die. You're then going to get the front of the character, the back of the character, and then you're going to get round about three quirky sentiments with each of them. So you're going to get them all at £19 or $25. When it comes to these ones here, that's giving you a saving of 60% on these cute characters. When it comes to that, today's price is a £19.25, but your platinum price is even better, as you know by now, £15.20 or $20 for you guys that are paying that purple platinum price. Do you fancy a mystery? Well, it's not really a mystery, because you managed to see it. We've got a few of these back, and we're going to go in. Now, I have to say, um, uh, with these ones here, this is your Spectrum Noir mystery bag. So this one, contents may vary on this one. It's all about the value. The value is absolutely exceptional. So you're going to be paying £40 or $50. When it comes to the platinum price, you're going to be £32 or $40, where you're going to get the most exceptional value of Spectrum Noir goodies. Now, within this one here, just to let you know, it says only available for today. So you're going to get an, an idea of what you're going to get, but the actual, maybe the color or the type is going to vary slightly. So let's look, you might be getting the Gildan Flakes. Now this one here we're happy to show you is the patina, but it could be any of the Gildan Flake collections that we've got. So you're going to get the full pack of the Gildan Flakes, uh, color dependent of course. You're then going to get a couple of illustrator pens. 
color dependent, of course. But when it comes to your Illustrator pens, you get two of them. Now, you've maybe not tried the Illustrator pens before. Maybe you've gone from your tri-blends into your classics, and before you invest in a full pack of Illustrators, maybe you want to hold them, you want to feel them, you want to then try them, you want to then get that work in and see how you feel with them. So you get a couple of Illustrator pens. What I want to say before I go any further, that alone, a three pack of your color Gildan Flakes is worth $14.99 or $19.95. So another kind of like £15 more, which that's absolutely going to be well covered within a few things I show you. You're far and beyond. You might be getting, when it comes to the color blends, you might get the essentials. It could be one of the other ones, but it's a full tray of your color blend pencils. 24 pencils in total. One of them is included within the mystery bag, but which one? We never know. Then what we've also got is a six pack of our classic pens. So we've got the six of them. So this one, it could be the blue, it could be the green, it could be the yellow. But what you're going to be able to do is, yes, you've got the blues. Now, the top three will blend beautifully together within that blue colour family. And then the bottom three will also blend beautifully well together. But you can come along and then you can come along and then you can then maybe use one tone from that top layer, two tones from the bottom if you want. These are alcohol pens, so even if you don't use them in that blending fashion, you can come along and colour your ribbons, colour your gems if you want to, or colour your embellishments. But you're going to be able to practice when it comes to the blending with the classic sets. It just depends on the colour you're going to get. Then, what you're also going to get is you will get a pigment ink pad. So, we're just happy to show you our Bordeaux, but it could be one of any of the other colours that we do. You may get one of the metallic ink pads. And we've also got our quick dry. So, you could get one of the colours from our quick dry. And then what you may also get as well when it comes to embellishment form, your glossy highlights. So £40 or $50, so straight away already, from what I've shown you, the value is absolutely exceptional. We're saving up to $38.91 or $59.83. That is your Spectrum Noir mystery bag, so it is for today only. So I'm going to say that must be midnight your time across the globe tonight. I would potentially say if it's today only. So wherever you are across the world, that's going to end. Uh, to be precise, 11.59 and 59 seconds uh, wherever you are across the globe on the website .co.uk.com or .eu right let's have a quick look to see what many of you are saying we've got a lot of love already for what Jan was just doing there a moment ago with the dog and the box uh, Clarice is saying thanks CC for the great deal grab both these sets of tags the grandbabies love to be reading so these are going to be a big hit what a nice way to get little kiddies reading as well mm -hmm. with a nice little cute gift tag that yeah. they get to see mark, and yeah. use on a daily yeah. basis or a nightly basis. Karen is in saying great idea. Crafty Angie is saying good morning everyone. We've got uh, Jill is in from North Yorkshire. Lynn's in saying good afternoon everyone. Um, I'm sorry to hear that Hannah Goslin's missing. Craig, I unexpectedly lost Cookie last Saturday and oh, oh God, it hurts. So sending you my condolences and hugs. Thank you very much. So many of you know how um, you feel. Me and Jan certainly know how you feel as well. So sending all of our love and hugs. When it comes to what Jan was just doing there specifically, Stephanie, uh, Theodos, it's saying adorable. Karen Wells is saying she loved it. Curran's in saying super cute. Christine Mahoney is saying adorable. Lynn Blackledge, hashtag go live granny, is saying, I have a massive box too, Jan. <sighs> and when I can't cut anything else out of all the final scraps, then they go to the beavers. So there's no wastage at yep. all. Good Absolutely. idea of doing that. Lynn's loved your demonstration. Melanie's loved your demonstration. So has uh, Lois. We've got Carletta saying hello, everyone. And then question from Diane Pullen, Jan. Yeah. She is saying, do you have to stamp? Do you have to stamp back and front, 
on different pieces and stick them together to stop the ink blending through or bleeding through? Right, that's a really good question, actually. I've probably not explained that very well. So for the majority of mine, I have used two separate pieces. Now, the ink bleed with the alcohol pens was almost coincidental. I'd done them on two pieces to strengthen it, to make okay. it sort of more substantial with regards to if it's a bookmark and it's going in and out of a book, things like that. But you're right, if you're using alcohol, whole markers you will and I can show you exactly what I mean you can just see a little tiny bit of it on the back of the one I've done here it's only very very tiny uh, but this is actually a single layer and it has sort of the idea of alcohol markers is that they do bleed through the cardstock mm -hmm. so yeah by doing it on two separate pieces it's a great way of disguising that and it will strengthen that project as well whether it's a tag or a bookmark or whether you're putting it as an embellishment on a card it just gives it a bit more substance uh, so yeah fantastic question there it really really is thank you for asking that one uh, what we are going to do is we're going to go straight back to Jan we're still looking at the cute character tags instead of showing you the boards let's just show you briefly this is how they're going to come within the packaging so this is your character gift tags here it is the eight piece collection so they all come individually packaged as you can see so maybe you're going to keep them all for yourself maybe you're going to start dishing them out but you've got that option all of these in each pack you've got six elements within each one combination of the stamp and the dies which then gives you 48 elements in total platinum price of £15.20 or $20 but let's go straight back to Jan and see what else we can do with them. Right, so one of the ideas, I've been really restricted with time this week because I didn't get my product until late in the week, so I've been concentrating on different ideas. But one of the ideas that I did have, and I can sort of explain it rather than I didn't have time to prep it, uh, was if you like masking, if you like stamping and masking, I had envisaged um, some kind of card that had a piece of matte and layer with all the little character fronts masked and stamped as if they were looking okay, over like yeah. a hedge or a wall or something yeah. like that and you could literally the if you if you're not sure what i mean about masking and stamping um we've got our masking tape available and you stamp on the masking tape and cut it out anything that you want in the foreground of your picture you stamp first and then cover it over with the mask now i used to use sticky notes in the past and use the little sticky bit to stick over but the masking tape is brilliant for this so you just stamp your image again you cut it out of the masking tape you put it over the top and then when you stamp the ones behind and retake the masking tape away it looks as if they're actually behind the front characters oh, yeah. i will try my best and incorporate it into somewhere else but i just had this vision of them all like all <laughs> as if they were peeping over the gate or over a wall or something like that and i could just see all the little because they're all the same design with the little front legs or the paws sort of sticking over but yeah just run out of time for ideas so i'm going to come back to the unicorn this time our dean's been waiting for this one as well so this is follow your dreams and it's got the most uh, gorgeous, again, little front and back version for the unicorn. And then we've also got in there, have a magical day. And I love this one. Be a unicorn in a field full of horses. <laughs> I think it's brilliant such a good one isn't it follow your dreams yes yeah. so you can see we've got that same format there with the front and the back so i'm going to skip the die cutting and the stamping bit again on this one because we've done a couple already it's all the same format but basically just using my multi-purpose cardstock i've actually done the front and i've done the back and I've literally used the die to cut round the tricky bit mm -hmm. and then just used my little snips to just fussy cut the rest of it so that I had like a separate embellishment this time. So this is the one that we're actually going to use the magnet with and attach it to our card. Oh, this one, okay. Yeah. So I've done my card blank because, again, I didn't want to spend too much time sticking cards together. I want to try and get as many ideas in as I can with the little uh, critters that we've got on there. So I've actually got my paper on the front and... And you know that I like to do insides as well. Now, these are actually coming up on the later show. If you're into some um, little quirky sentiment stamps, we've got a nice collection coming up later on Colour Me Happy. Brilliant. Uh, and I just love this phrase. I really do. So uh, with it being the, the unicorn and a little bit magical, then I thought that fit nicely. And it says, I love you to the moon and back. So that's going to go on the inside just to strengthen that card again and stop it sliding. 
And then on the front, what I want to do is I've cut, and this has actually come out of the mat at the back. You know, I'm always taking the centres yeah, out. Yeah. I actually cut a circle out and I've reinforced it with an extra piece of cardstock. And then I've just passed it through one of my embossing folders to echo the dots that were on the paper. So this is going to be my sort of focal point here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little front of the unicorn and again I've actually snipped up where his arms are to release that middle part here okay. yeah like yep. we did with that very similar to the first one I've got a bit of tape and then he's actually going to look as if he's sort of peeking over the edge of the I don't know <laughs> what, what, what it is but he's here look peeking there we go and then his friend is looking the other way he's looking up towards him now I thought this would be a fun thing to have on the little magnet so I've got two of my little tiny magnets now if you don't have any again I don't know whether we have any left on the um, the website mm -hmm. these are what came with the memory book albums yeah. and I've still got some of mine left so I've used mine from there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop one underneath and you'll find that they you know they'll find themselves okay so we're, we're gonna hind uh, <laughs> you ready magic are you ready we've got that on and then we can decide whereabouts we want it so okay. i want it a little bit further over okay like so so that this one becomes a takeaway element so if you you know if it's a children's birthday card or something like that you've just got that little bit of fun activity there so i'm going to take i've put a piece of tape on the magnets i'm going to take the tape liner off and decide whereabouts I want that one to go okay and then because the magnets automatically find their own place we can take the back off that one and I'm also going to add some glue to the rest of this particular panel and to stick the panel down we just want the embellishment to be uh, Do you to know what we could move. use these stamps for as well John our penny sliders yes Oh yes. Even they, just even the back even just the back of the character yep. twirling around with the penny sliders. Fantastic. Yep. Or oh, the, there's the peekaboo ones the as peek well. The peekaboo, yeah. There's quite a lot actually when there you is. think about it. When you start using it and realise how the concept's designed. So now he actually comes away. So as so I say, far as a kiddie's birthday, but it automatically finds its own place. Again, I've just stamped out have a magical day which is part of your stamp set with this particular one but the beauty I think of buying them as a set is not only do you have all those cute characters you've also got um, the mix and match facility with all the sentiments so whereas some of them are linked to the stamp some of them are generic as well so that one's going to go on here and then I've just got a couple of little of accents to pick out because that paper was so bright I just thought a couple of little bits just to bring in the colours from the background and again using up those scraps <coughs> this one's going to go <coughs> excuse me excuse on there. You. okay and then as I say you've got him and just he just clicks back on looking up there at his partner so that's your little unicorn and again if we turn him round is there and you've got that one inside as I say keep a watch out for the stamps later if you're interested in those sentiment stamps and I'm going to say exactly what Dean just said that's banging <laughs> so it's got the seal of approval from Dean there you go it's banging there you go there's another one from Jan and that is our cute character gift tags and of course you can maybe do that Christmas themed as well when it comes to the other set that we've got hanging in but we are going to have another look at these and then we're going to take a little break because lots of you got these in your basket so I'm going to check them out so uh, but, well because they're not yours until you check them out uh, they will pop out back uh, shortly so we'll give you that little opportunity in a moment but you are going to get the full eight sets here so you're going to get the elephant you're then going to be getting the fairy you're then also going to be getting your little mouse. You're then also going to be getting your giraffe. You're then going to be getting your unicorn that Jan just used there that uh, Dean says is banging. You're then going to get the dog. You're also then going to be getting the bunny rabbit. 
and then you're also going to get the cat as well. So when it comes to these in each set, you're going to get six elements, you're going to get five stamps, and then you're going to get one die as well for you to create your tag, your bookmark, or as Jan's just showed you, even just within this masterclass, many different ways as well. Right, we're going to have time for one other demonstration, I think, but what we will do is we'll let you check out your baskets because, as I say, you've got many of these items in, and actually Dean was just telling me you've popped a few other things in as well. Certainly the colour blend pencils, they seem to be going really, really well. So we will be back in a little moment with another demonstration. Hello, I'm Ben and I'm one of the presenters on Crafters TV. So my presenting journey started when I was about 18. I started working at a holiday park here in the UK. Our US viewers might not know it, but there's um, a holiday park called Butlins. So what's involved with being a presenter? Um, well, my day-to-day -day kind of is um, ensuring I know everything that's on the show, um, ensuring that the, you know, the guys that I'm working with obviously um, are happy with everything that's on the show. And I, I kind of feel like um, what I do, I'm sort of like the, the glue in the show, if you like, there's a bit of a crafty reference for you. So kind of listening to the guys in the gallery, uh, you know, the producer, the director, I'm sort of always um, listening to what they want me to do whilst the crafters are crafting. So I feel like I'm there as the glue keeping sort of everything, you know, as it should be. Um, but I also think my job is to, is to have a lot of fun, which I think I do on most days, get the viewers interacting, because we always love to hear from our viewers and I think that's one thing that we do here that you don't get anywhere else is that is that interaction so I think on the shows where I get the opportunity to craft I always try and have a go because I always think that if I can show that I can do it as like a real newbie base level crafter then hopefully that'll inspire other people to have a go as well I'm always inspired by Craig um, because again he's such a talented crafter as our guys as I say all of them are but he has obviously had a lot to battle with um, as far as his health is concerned. I always say this about Craig, he's, um, you know, if I'm having a bit of a bad day, I always think about Craig because he's not been so well recently, but he'll never come into work and sort of moan about how bad he's feeling and with all of the health issues he's had and you know, the operations he's had over the years. Um, he's a big inspiration because he just gets on with it. Uh, Lynn Gedd is saying, I never know at what point a scrap is no longer usable. Mm -hmm. so, so I tend to keep everything, which means I have loads. I get that. I understand that. Yep. I do get that. I don't think it's ever too small, is don't it? You know, you so, might no. want to just punch. If you have any little tiny bits left, if you've got any punches, use your punches on them. Mm -hmm. So like punch flowers out or hearts out or things like that, or even little circles. And you can use those in backgrounds and things like that then, yeah. Because none of us like to waste no, it. You don't. might, you know, that little postage size piece might just come in handy one day, and that's why I have a massive big box full. Mm -hmm. And bet your bottom dollar, you do bin it, you and come and do a project, a and you were like, yep, you search, spend half an hour searching for it before you realise that was the bit that you threw in the bin. Yeah, that was the bit. Uh, we've got a question here. Oh, well, let's hope if we can help Patch going out tonight. Hope someone can help. I'm going out tonight, but have been crafting all day. I have very inky fingers. Do you know what the best way is to remove it? Hair shampoo. There you go. Yeah, works better than ordinary soap. I don't know what it is that's in the shampoo. Uh, but yeah, try some, if you've got some hair, it doesn't matter what kind it is, try some hair shampoo on them and give them a good... I mean, I've been known to dip mine in bleach before, but I wouldn't recommend that <laughs> because obviously it's quite, you know, abrasive. But yeah, hair shampoo works wonders. Perfect. I don't know. It's, it work, must have some different content must to do, ordinary then. soap. Must do. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Give that yeah. one a shot. Julia Duffy is saying, I love watching Craig and Jan. You're both so kind and generous with your tips and suggestions on helping us with our crafting journey. That's lovely. You're more than welcome. That's what we're here for. Exactly, it is. We have the pleasure of doing that. And what a privilege to be able to do that, though, Craig. It we're is. in a position where we can share all those tips. Yep. I just think it's amazing. It is. We never, none of us on the team take it for granted, ever. Really is a pleasure. Uh, Terry Anderson, I use the moon stamp on almost every card, either the back of it or the envelope. Yep. Yeah, don't forget the envelope. Uh, that last demonstration, uh, so many of you also loved it. Carletta Laurel was saying, lol, I wasn't going, I was 
I wasn't going there, but after Jan's demonstrations, <laughs> I had to. I'm presuming that means purchase them. Melanie D loved it. Thea uh, is saying, what a great idea. I never thought of doing that. Lynn Morton saying, absolutely lovely, Jan. Lois is saying, very sweet card. Thank you so much, Jan. So many great ways in which you can be using these tag stamp and dies, isn't there? Um, we're going to go back to Jan, but what has been proven popular is our plate. So this is our Gemini 2 plate configuration. So we've got two options here where you can go for the larger one. So this one here is the full plate configuration when it comes to, I call it the A4 size, but they're actually 9 by 12 and a half. So you've got your two cutting plates. So you get your two cutting plates here. Please remember, if you don't already know, these will work with the original white OG Gemini, the A4 one. So you can absolutely use it with them. You're also then going to be getting a rubber embossing mat. You're also then going to be getting your magnetic shim. You're also going to be getting your metal shim. And then you're also then going to be getting your frosted shim. Now your two cutting plates, flip and rotate them. Do that every time. These will last you three times longer. Your frosted shim here. Um, I don't flip and rotate it every time because it's in the middle. But if you do get into the habit of doing that, that will last you 10 times longer. You can get all of them £62.94 or $89.94. Even although they just officially launched here the other day as the accessories, you've still got 10% saving. It was just the other day. Platinum price £50.35 or $71.95. So they are working and designing for the Gemini 2, but you can absolutely use them with your OG white Gemini for sure. Then we've got our junior options. So these ones are a 9 by 6. Now, once again, you're going to get the full plate configuration. You will, of course, get all of these within the Gemini 2 bundle if you go for that one. I think we've still got a few in stock here in the UK. Always worthwhile handy having a spare set. So you get the two cutting plates for the junior. You've also got your metal shim. You're also then going to be getting your rubber embossing mat. You're also then going to be getting your magnetic shim. And then you're also going to be getting, of course, your frosted shim. Same goes for these two cutting plates and the frosted shim. Flip and rotate them. The white plates will last you three times longer. The frosted shim will last you ten times longer. And then the good thing as well now, with the Gemini 2, you don't have to turn them sideways. You can still if you want to. But because it's that optical sensor, you can just put them straight in portrait and they're going to take them no problem whatsoever. So you've got them ones at $43.14 or $59.34 or a platinum price of £34.51 or $47.47. So what we're going to do is we've still got demo of the show to do. So what we will do, because we've looked at the character stamps a couple of times, we'll go straight to Jan and then when we come back we'll do a recap of the stamps if that's okay with you. Yep so a couple of things then I've got another demo lined up for you something else again but just to go back to a comment we were talking about earlier about when I was actually using these I thought to myself that how cool they would be for the kiddies and I know we touched on this earlier uh, just to follow up on what we were saying about the kiddies having maybe their own personalised bookmarks or things like that if they're getting into reading I know my little Toby absolutely loves reading at the minute just a top tip for you if you have access to a laminator before you do all your decoration on it if you laminate the bookmark part it will make it last a little bit longer in the hands of kiddies in and out of books and things like that but if you don't obviously not as easy but I'm just I know I've got a laminator in my drawer and it'll just protect the cardstock a little bit from the, uh, okay. the the general use so just that just that one and then we're going to come back to another idea with these and I'm going to I've tried to use as many different ones as I can so we've got the little elephant in this one very very cute tons of love and I've also uh, used one of the others to do a, a second part to this so uh, again I'm not going to do all the stamping and things because I'm just conscious of the time and it's exactly the same same as we've got like I said once you've understood the format and how it works you can see exactly that these are all the same idea they're the same length they've just got the different outline on the top which actually marry up nicely with the stamp set now this one's symmetrical so you don't have to worry about which side you're stamping on the outline if I take this on here you can see that it fits around the front of the elephant perfectly 
and it also fits around the back of him perfectly so no need to worry it's worth no. just double checking that there's just the odd one or two yeah. that i found you have to stamp on the back of the, the die cut so what i've done with this one then is i've actually done the first part of the stamping and i've cut out this one with the die and then i've just trimmed around the bottom okay again i'm very much you see that i've done it quite often you where have, i've released yeah, yeah. this bit i like the idea of him peeking over the top and then i was just going to show you how simple that is to do i've just left this bit to cut i've actually stamped him out and colored him on the reverse and i thought just for that last pass through just to show you it's really easy to line them up the inside edge of the die matches the outside edge of the stamped image if that makes sense yeah so all you need to do is make sure that you can see your stamped image through that die and then you're going to get that perfect positioning i would definitely recommend popping a little bit of tape just to keep it in place and then again turn those around we'll go this way this time and pop in the shims pass that through our gemini and then i'm going to make um a little place card this time so if you're having a children's party or if you've got any of that festive collection you could do them for christmas tables you could make them for thanksgiving things like that all sorts of little different ideas with them but all i've done there is cut the main part out with the die like so you can see there that we've got the bulk of it cut out and then just with your little snips, you can see him there in total. Mm -hmm. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to follow where the die's got to with my snips and literally just leave that little white border again. If you don't like the white border, you can cut all the way around if you're wanting to use them as a topper. But it is relatively simple. And I, I like this little white border because I'm the world's worst. If I cut right next to the black line, you can guarantee that I chop off something important. Of course, yeah. And that's never good, is it? So again, take those little pieces off. And again, I tend to leave this bit flat. You can cut into there if you wish. All right. And we've got our front and back. So you all know that my little grandson is part of my whole world yes, so all i've done i've taken a piece of that multi-purpose card again and this can be any size mine just happens to be four and a half by two and a half all right so four and a half by five in total put some paper on the back and then i've used one of my alphabet sets to actually pop toby's name on here as a place card holder but just before i stick that down again i'm going to pop the little elephant that's peeking over the top on the front and this one's going to go on the front of here so this one's going to go at this side here okay. so i'm going to just by snipping into that little uh, shape there you can see how it fits yeah. over the top there so i want him to just move down there a little bit and he's going to sit like so okay then we can stick this one down so once you're happy with the positioning either wet glue or your tape pen imagine keddie's birthday parties yeah i just think again there's there's names. so much um and you know you could theme them by color or if yeah, you were you having could. you know a little wild animal wild animal wildlife party something like that yeah i need them to design um either a dinosaur or a pirate if it was going to be for my toby bear honestly is either dinosaurs or pirates and then again I've taken the tab, the little tag part of this one. So again, just with the scissors, just following the line of the die and just take off the little bit. I don't need the bit that's gonna have the thread through it, but with then we can marry him up on the back again. So here we go. We've got a little bit of glue. And then again, because they've been die cut, I can just pop those together and we can just literally pop the back on there give it a good squeeze there and then if Absolutely i stand brilliant. that one up oh my gosh. we've got toby and then i use the little kitty cat <laughs> and just did a pink one all right for ava who's my youngest uh daughter's uh stepdaughter 
So yeah, oh, nice, quick, right. easy names. I didn't want, if you want this a bit longer, you could just extend the card so that it's a bit longer. But yeah, just wanted something quick. But I just think they are adorable. And again, if you've got the festive ones, you could do one of each character for mm -hmm. the different place settings yeah. around your Christmas table. They'd just be a little bit of fun, wouldn't they? So much fun. Oh my gosh, I absolutely adore that one as well, Jan. If you don't mind, if you could line up your demonstrations, yep. we'll do a demo of the show. Do you and know, I had some more, I've got some more to show yeah, you. And the time just with this appears doesn't it? It flies in yeah. Absolutely. It does, doesn't matter how much that I stay quiet in the demonstrations the time just absolutely it flies does. in as well. So yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at uh, the demonstrations that Stat Jan's done within this show and then we're going to have our uh, result as well. So you'll have just a couple of minutes to of course get your votes in. Olivia's going to then count them all up but we can go straight back to Jan and have a look and see what she's done within this masterclass. Right, so I can't believe how quick it goes, but at the top of the show we started off with sort of the original concept behind these dies and the idea that they were either bookmarks or gift tags. And you can see how they're sort of almost like that off the edge character that have the front and they have the reverse. I just think that's the seller for me. You know, the front's cute enough, but the fact that when you turn it round you've got the rear view as well, I just think it's brilliant. So we did the little bookmark and added some flat uh, well, shaker pieces in there in a flat piece of cellophane so that it wasn't too deep to go inside a book. So that was number one. Number two, we went to the little sort of festive winter collection and we did the little guy here that had the um, gift card element inside there. Mm -hmm. So that was number two. That just slots inside the holder there. That's number two. Number three, we went back to that original concept and just made a little gift tag to go on the box, any kind of box bag. I've got a little bag to show you with something similar to this, but whatever you fancy for that. That was number three. Number four, again, I'd gone for a card with this one, with the little unicorn on, but we trapped a magnet in here so that you've got a little takeaway element, that if, particularly if it's for a kiddie's birthday or something yeah, yeah. like that. I just think it's, uh, it's nice to have that little bit of something. You could actually um, coat this in your glossy highlights good, good so that, again, it makes it a little bit more durable from the point of view of it coming on and off. That's number four. And then number five, we've just done the little place cards for the parties or things like that. Again, any of the characters would work. Okay, yep, so one, go. two, three, four, or five. Brilliant. You've got your choice to make. You've got a couple of moments uh, to get your uh, votes in. Um, can I just say, Michael Chapman has actually said something that I actually said to Ben the other day in a message, because there was a picture of you and Ben that went up, and I said, how well and lovely that you're looking. And Michael said the same, Jan, you're looking absolutely fantastic. You should be proud of yourself. Thank you. I've worked very hard. You have. I ben was admit, telling me. Yes. Ben was very shocked because I've not seen him for probably about six weeks or so. And I think when you don't see somebody for so long, mm -hmm. it does make a difference. So, yeah, the weight loss is intentional. I have worked very hard on it. And Ben was asking me what the motivation was. And I said purely those grandbabies. Yeah. I you know that I had my big birthday last I, month. Yes. And I don't want to be going anywhere just yet. So, yeah, it was time to get the health in check. I want to be there for those little boys as long as I can. And honestly, I do mm -hmm. feel so much better. Honestly, Jan, you just look absolutely you. incredible. You really, really do. And I'll show you that message later on Thank just to you prove very that I did, uh, yeah. I did say that to Ben. Um, well, right, we've got lots of... Uh, Phil, actually, yes, your G2 plates, they will go through your pro bit landscape, absolutely, because it's still the sensors at each side, so you can do that. Uh, quick question here, Jan. Sue comes and saying, how do you clean your scissors when they get sticky? Ooh. Ooh, let me just go. I'm coming back. I'm just going to reach one of my favourite products ever. If you can get hold of it, our aerosol stick away is good for cleaning any kind of sticky. But having said that, if you use our Crafters Companion scissors, they are Teflon they coated are, yeah. and they get much less sticky. Occasionally, I'll have to give them a little wipe over, but not like my old ones used to get gooed up all the time. But all our scissors are Teflon coated, which is a non-stick surface. So if you haven't got these yet, it might be worth investing in them. If you're still having issues and you can get hold of the aerosols, the stick away, it removes all sorts. It even removes labels off jam jars and mm -hmm. things like that. Labels mm -hmm. from under your shoes doesn't just have to be crafting. Anything that's sticky, brilliant for. It's also great for cleaning off the gilding wax if you used it on your surfaces. Oh, yeah. It emulsifies the wax. So yes, perfect uh, product. 
Perfect, thank you for that one. Uh, regarding that demonstration, Michelle saying so cute. Rhonda Crowley Crazens is saying, oh, uh, uh, Gilmore saying adorable. Mary Pat 1000, super cute. Hannah Gosling Smith, we will put the idea forward with our next product development day, and that is something uh, dinosaur uh, you would love yeah. to see. Yep. I know um, my uh, best friend's little one, Grayson, um, Uncle Craig to, to Grayson know, and Monroe, yeah. he loves dinosaurs yeah. as well. Absolutely love dinosaurs, so we will put that idea forward. We've got Lynn Martin saying, that's so cute. Lois is saying, great idea. Pammy is saying, adorable. Hannah Gosling is saying, I think that card holder, uh, gift card holder idea is genius. And Pammy is saying, you look great, Jan, beautiful inside and out. Thank you very much. Absolutely does. Uh, right, before we do the result, let's have a quick uh, recap of those character gift stamp and dies. One last time. So this is what Jan's been featuring in so many different ways five different ways in total you've got the cat you've got the bunny rabbit you've then got the dog you've then also got the unicorn you've then also got the giraffe you're then also going to be getting the mouse you're also then going to be getting the fairy and you're also going to be getting the elephant as well. So you've got eight sets there. In each pack there, you are going to be getting five stamps and one die. £19 or $25. Platinum price of £15.20 or $20. That's your uh, cute character gift tags. But of course, within Masterclass, you'll have seen Jan showing you how you can use them in many different ways. But what we do have a smaller bundle, which is Christmas themed. Now, these are still sitting at green on the screen. How we still have these in stock, but we do. So that just means you can absolutely grab them. Now, I've only got five here. You do absolutely get six. So you will also get the Nutcracker. But then what you're also going to be getting is the cheeky little elf. You're then also going to be getting the penguin. You're also then going to be getting the angel. You're then also going to be getting the gingerbread man or lady. We've then also got Santa Claus. And then, as I said, you are also then going to be getting that Nutcracker as well. So that Nutcracker, as well as the other five there, you're going to be £14 or $18 with a platinum price of eleven twenty or $14.40. Right, before we do the demo or demo, before we do the pick of the day, let's do demo of the show because the result is in... The result is in, and Jan, how you guys chose this one, I do not know, because they were all so cool, but it went in at number one. Oh, I was just going to say either number two or number four. But number yeah, one. Fantastic. So that was the little bookmark, which is basically what the, the collection was created for originally. So thank you very much, guys, with the little shakers in. Perfect. There you go. So that will go up against Jan in our, for herself within Colour Me Happy <laughs> later on today as well. Right, what we have got is we've got our pick of the day here. Now, our pick of the day is for 24 hours only or while stocks last. So it will end because this is Friday. Tomorrow, we don't have a pick of the day. We have a weekend wonder. So just before that starts in Player Crafts, right, this will end or stock dependent. So you're going to be getting your Totally Tiffany rotating design board, you're going to get your Nancy tote bag, and you're going to get that full pack of white multi-purpose cardstock. You can either go back to the beginning of this show or Wake Up Call where I go over it in a lot more detail, but you will get your hands on that for £30 or $40. You're saving $17.97 or $16.93. You've got a platinum price of £24 or $32, and with it being a pick of the day, that means you're going to get your double points as well on top of that one there so that is your pick of the day so you can then pop that into your basket that you're going to find that across on our website everything that you've seen so far today is on shop the day on our website and it has been so so busy so let's just have another quick look at our brand new g2 plates here you've got two options although you might want to go for both options we have then got our 9 by 12 and a half plates. So these are going to work with your G2, of course, but you will be able to use them with your original A4 white Gemini. Now you've got your two cutting plates. So you've got the two of them that you need. So that's what you're going to get. You're also then going to be getting your frosted shim. You're also then going to be getting your metal shim. You're then also going to get your magnetic shim. 
and then you're also going to get your rubber embossing mat. So absolutely, if you do have the Pro, you can use these in the Pro, but you will just need to put them landscape, of course, because the sensors are still at each side. So that's your large ones, but then maybe you want to go in with the smaller ones. You might want to go for both, but within this configuration here, what you are going to be two cutting plates, you're then going to be getting your frosted shim. You're then going to be getting your magnetic shim. You're then going to be getting your rubber embossing mat. And then your metal shim as well. $43.14 or $59.34. With a platinum price of $34.51 or $47.47. Uh, Jan, had a blast? I know. I just can't believe how quickly it's gone. It just disappears, doesn't it? Fancy doing it again? Yes, yeah, we'll do it again at six o'clock. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah why not? Let's All things it. Spectrum Noir. There you go. So then. anything to do with pens, colouring, anything like that. If you've got any questions, get them in for us at six o'clock. Fab. Right, if you're watching live, we will see you in a couple of hours' time. But please do come back for Friday edition of Our Colour Me Happy with myself and Jan. We will see you then. Bye. <laughs>